Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to take on some practice problems on ratio and proportion. All right, number 24 in our book says if a over b is equal to c over d, show that a minus b over b is equal to c minus d over d. Well, this is similar to a problem we had in the lesson portion on ratio and proportion. And what we're going to do is we're going to simplify or rewrite the left and right hand side of the equation to show that both values are going to be similar. So I can rewrite a minus b over b as a over b minus 1 or a over b minus b over b. So I can rewrite this equation as a minus b, oh, excuse me, I can rewrite that as a over b minus b over b, which is the same as a over b minus 1. So I have a over b minus 1, same process with c minus d over d. I can rewrite that as c over d minus 1. And that leaves me with a over b minus 1 is equal to c over d minus 1. If I add 1 to both sides, I'm left with a over b is equal to c over d. And that's what I'm trying to prove. All right, next question, number 25. In the figure, p is said to divide segment ab externally. So p is on the external end of ab into two segments, AP and PB. If AB is equal to 30 and AP to AB is 5 to 2, then find AP. So we have to set up the equation. We know AB is equal to 30, so we know one portion of uh, the equation or the proportion. So A, let's call this AB and AP. So AP over AB is equal to AP over AB. We know that AP over AB is 5 over 2, and we know that AB is also 30 units. So we can find out what <clears throat> AP is if we um, use our means extremes product theorem. So 150 is equal to 2x. In this case, x is going to be equal to 75. And x in this case is going to be AP. So if AB is 30, then we know that BP is going to be 45, and AB uh, is going, I'm sorry, AP is going to be equal to 75. All right, moving on. Question number 26. The equation y is equal to 2.5x minus 3 relates the x and y coordinates of a point on a line. So we know the slope is 2.5. We know the y-intercept is 0, negative 3. We want to find the points in the line whose x coordinates are 6 and 10. So we need to find now the y value of the coordinate because we have the x coordinate. Then, or we have the x value. Then use these points to find the slope of the line. All right, so we're going to substitute 6 and 10 into the equation y is equal to 2.5x minus 3. Solve for y, establish the coordinate for two points where the x value is 6 and 10. And then we're going to use these points to find the slope of the line, and I bet that that slope is going to be two and a half. So let's see what we get. Okay, so the first thing we do is we substitute in uh, 6 and 10 for x. We get y is equal to 2.5 times 6 minus 3, or y is equal to 12. So that gives us the coordinates of 6, 12 for our first point. Then we substitute 10 in for x, and we get y is equal to 2.5 times 10 minus 3, or 22. So the second point is 10, 22. Now we need to find the slope between those two points. So I take the rise over the run. I'm going to take the first point as 6, 12, and the second point as 10, 22, and take the uh, change in the y value between those two over the change in the x value. So I have 12 minus 22. 12 minus 22 over 6 minus 10 gives me negative 10 over 4, or 5 halves, or 2.5. So you can see in a slope in an equation where y is equal to mx plus b, the slope is 2 and a half. You can see that if we plug in any coordinate really for x and figure out what the y value is, the slope between those two points is going to end up being the slope of the equation, which is 2 and a half. All right, last problem. If two ratios are formed at random from the four numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, what is the probability that the ratios are equal? All right, so let's establish ratios for all four of those numbers, and let's see what we get. We'll have 1 over 2 is equal to 4 over 8, 1 over 4 is equal to 2 over 8, 1 over 2 is equal to 8 over 4, 
1 over 4 is equal to 8 over 2, 1 over 8 is equal to 2 over 4, and 1 over 8 is equal to 4 over 2. So um, if you're looking at this video or watching, you can stop and try this on your own to see what proportions you come up with, um, and then come back and see if they match mine. So I have six different proportions, and what I found is that two of the six, uh, the ratios are going to be equal. So uh, 1 over 2 is equal to 4 over 8, 1 over 4 is equal to 2 over 8. But the other four, 1 over 2 is not equal to 8 over 4, 1 over 4 is not equal to 8 over 2, 1 over 8 is not equal to 2 over 4, and 1 over 8 is not equal to 4 over 2. So the two ratios that are equal that form proportions are the first two, and that tells me that the probability that the ratios are going to be equal given these four numbers that are chosen at random is going to be 1 out of 3.